Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will be working with two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, and four PCs, PC1, PC2, PC3, and PC4. We will assign these computers to VLANs. VLANs, or virtual LANs, are used to isolate computers at layer 2. If you look at the network diagram, you will notice that these four computers are in the same layer 3 network, the 10.0.0.0/24 network. We will use VLANs to separate them into two groups of two. Try to complete the lab yourself first, and then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it afterwards to check your solution. Step 1 is to ping between the computers to check connectivity. Let's do this on PC1. I'll ping PC2 first. Ping 10.0.0.2. The ping works. Next, PC3. Ping 10.0.0.3. The ping works again. Next, PC4. Ping 10.0.0.4. All of our pings worked as expected. That's all for step one. Step two is to assign PC1 and PC3 to VLAN 1 and PC2 and PC4 to VLAN 2. This is done by configuring the switch interfaces they are connected to. Let's do this on switch one first. So we'll be assigning PC1 to VLAN 1 and PC2 to VLAN 2. Enable conf t. PC1 is connected to Fast Ethernet 02, so interface F02. Now I will enter the command switch port mode access. Switch ports connected to end hosts like a PC should be configured as access ports. Switch ports are in access mode by default, but I like to explicitly configure this. Next, we will assign it to VLAN 1. Switch port access VLAN 1. Next is PC2, which is connected to Fast Ethernet 03. Interface F03. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 2. As you can see, the switch creates VLAN 2 for us because we hadn't created it before. Let's check the running config to confirm our configuration. Do show run. On both interfaces, you can see the switch port mode access command. And on fast ethernet 03, you can see it is assigned to VLAN 2. But why don't we see our switch port access VLAN 1 command on fast ethernet 02? This is because of what's called the native VLAN. In normal VLANs, the switch tags the packet from that VLAN to identify it as belonging to that VLAN. The native VLAN, however, doesn't need to be tagged. And any packets that are untagged are assumed to belong to that VLAN. And VLAN 1 is the default native VLAN on Cisco switches. Because of this, by default, all interfaces belong to VLAN 1. If you try to explicitly configure an interface as VLAN 1, it won't even show up in the configuration, as you can see here. Note that the native VLAN can be changed, and for security purposes, it often is. But for this lab, we will keep it as is. Next, let's hop over to switch 2. Enable conf t interface F02. Let's do the exact same thing as with PC1 and PC2. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 1. Interface F03. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 2. There we go. Let's check the running config on switch 2 as well. Do show run. Again, we see the same thing as on switch 1. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3 is to attempt to ping between PC1 and PC3, and PC2 and PC4, 
So we're going to attempt to ping between computers in the same VLAN. Let's hop on PC1 first. Ping 10.0.0.3. The pings are successful. Next, let's hop on PC2. Ping 10.0.0.4. Our pings fail. Why is that? PC1 and PC3 are in the same VLAN and their pings worked. PC2 and PC4 are in the same VLAN as well. So why can't we ping between them? Remember what I said about the native VLAN. The fast Ethernet 01 interfaces of switch 1 and switch 2 are assigned to the native VLAN, which is VLAN 1, by default. So only traffic from VLAN 1 can pass through them. We'll fix that in step 4. Step 4 is to configure the interfaces connecting switch 1 and switch 2 as trunk interfaces. In order to allow traffic from multiple VLANs to pass between the two switches, we must configure their fast Ethernet 01 interfaces as trunk interfaces. Let's do that on switch 1 first. Interface F01, switch port mode trunk. Next, switch 2. Interface F01, switch port, mode, trunk. That's it for step 4. Step 5 is to once again ping between the computers. If we correctly configured everything, we should be able to ping between PC1 and PC3, and between PC2 and PC4, but the other pings should fail. Let's start from PC1 again. First, let's ping PC2. As expected, the pings failed. Next, PC3, which should succeed. As expected, the ping succeeded. Finally, PC4. Again, the pings failed. Let's ping from PC2 as well. Ping PC1, the pings failed. PC3, the pings failed. Finally, PC4, the ping succeeded. As you can see, we have successfully isolated the computers between VLANs, even though they are on the same Layer 3 network. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.